Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Let's play Ostrif. So I'm on my way to 3,000 people, 3,000 villagers. This is how my village currently looks. Getting full, but uh, can still go higher. Unclear if I can get 4,000. There seems to be a lot of land available, but most of it is dedicated to agriculture or and or making food. So the 4,000 is a big E for this point. 3,500 probably definitely doable. The economy is fine. Yes, I need to import a lot of food. But other than that, uh, it's a okay. Let's put this box to work somewhere. Not always easy to see what it should be. Too many goddamn buildings. It was the closest. Didn't see it. A big bottleneck is graveyard. I have like a lot of it. This food, just graveyards here. Basically, race against time. Get to a higher population as soon as possible before a rent of room <laughs> to put the corpses in. <laughs> My main export. Uh, it's charcoal. I export a lot of it. This one is bugged out, so ignore this one. I usually have to send messenger from time to time because I have too much in stock. Around 200,000 at any given moment. I export a whole bunch of uh, iron based stuff. Leather and Textiles and whatever. Okay, finally they are here. Shoes I export. Clothes, but I need a bit more here to initiate the export. Sell some booze. Just buy wet and sell booze. It's a nice trade-off to have. Unfortunately, you're stuck on five export. With this bugged out, I can only have four. Continuous food imports Whenever possible No fish it's uh, last longer, but it's also way too expensive So I'm not gonna do that I have room for two more families Said, uh, I have a lot more room available, especially in this area, to expand. So, 4000 population could be doable. It's really difficult to estimate at this point if I can actually do that. I will definitely try. Get here so I can initiate a new trade. Importing a lot of hemp so I can make textile and clothes. I'm making my own flax, but uh, hemp is easier to import. No housing available. So let's build a new one. The only question is where. It needs to be near heavy agricultural areas. We need a lot of people for harvest. I do somewhere around here, but uh, it's kind of full. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's not not enough room here. Ooh. Yeah, unable terrain. That can be quite annoying. Do I have enough lime? Nope. Now let's buy more stone. Yeah, I need more stone as well. Let's see. 4000 export. Good. Textile. Oh yeah. 10,000, baby. Should yield some profit. 4,000 here on leather available, but uh, well, at least I have 2,000 metal parts. And this I only export, and I have 1,000, 3,000 income from there in the future. Not really seeing, I'm waiting for this one, but uh, it's not gonna happen. So, we'll wait for future export. I like to export in higher quantities. Should be able to make a little bit of profit here and offset all of these imports. I try not to expand too aggressively in terms of row houses. Okay, let's replant here. I really wish there was an option to automatically replant reforestation area, which does not currently exist. in terms of available trees for cutting we'll probably need more areas as the trees that came by naturally will uh, be cut down i'll probably need more housing in this area as well i said a lot of people are required to make the harvest proper The one in the center here are doing well, always harvested in full, but the outlying ones it's more problematic. Sometimes I do not get full harvest, it's quite, kind of annoying, but uh, I am improving it. Usually the cash is around 20, 30,000, 35 sometimes. Only then I buy some fish. It's too expensive otherwise. It'll dampen your economy if you do. Or at least on bigger villages. You don't feel that on smaller ones. I also export a lot of broadcloth. Come on, get your lazy asses to work. something here I'm gonna import a little bit more saying goes with wet smidge of honey from time to time 
So yeah, don't have that much, but I do have iron to offset all of those imports. At least a little bit. The hemp will pay for itself once it's transformed into cloth, into textile and clothes. So that's not a huge problem. It will yield profit. Same goes with wet, once I make it in the booze. Storage full. Ooh. Yeah, I always have too much tallow. Too bad you cannot export it. Or do anything with it really. You can make soap, but I have one storage with this one in mind. care of it. There's plenty of wool, don't care. What I do need some more buckwheat. Yeah, not enough potash for export. Yeah, I need to send a messenger, there is no other way unfortunately. thousand people oh yeah got a little bit more room left so come on thousand mark is hit which is a nice milestone to have and it arrived I usually sell when I have a bit more than this but it's almost 1000 so it's a nice round number I only exported 100,000 increments and over 3000 people yes that's awesome. I don't know how many how much potatoes I will have so after harvest that's more difficult to say. Don't have enough cash for uh, dried fish so I'm gonna leave it alone. 
I usually import dry fish when I have like 30, 35,000 cash. Just so I can supplement the food stuff for, from time to time. I usually have less exports when I have to replant areas. Takes a while. So that's, uh, that dampens my export prospects. I didn't place this stuff very well, but it's uh, good enough. The closer the better to the farm and to the houses. They are time placed, unlike other buildings you can produce whenever you want, but uh, harvesting is fixed, you have to do it before the end of November. Getting to a thousand bit by bit. Yeah, consuming lime like crazy. Stone is good, so I don't need to import more. I'm around this area. It's a more isolated one, so not enough people to do everything. On my next city, I will plan a little bit better. But I don't think it will have a huge impact on how much population you can actually have. Just slightly less effective what I have right now. That's why I couldn't get more leather. Because I have a lot of stuff. This, this is my May. My first trading post was here and they dump everything in just one. Can be annoying. Okay. <laughs> Plenty of buckwheat, so I don't care. Yeah, I need to buy some, buy some glaze. Like I said, I, I usually try to export in 1000 increments so this I'll have to wait I have lots of trading posts like ridiculous amounts. You will need it on higher population cities. Definitely. Okay, most of the harvest has been concluded in a satisfactory manner. I had worse problems in the past. And I had like half a field or even an entire field not being harvested. Now we just this tad a little bit here. Not perfect, but uh, it's close enough. Yeah, a lot of 
black thing is being done right now. Cat is a bit low, the new roll because of it. For you, let send another messenger. You need to do this constantly, buying lots and lots of food. There is a rather precarious balance because of it. I have some buckwheat, so that will help, and some wet. Bring it. Yeah, that's a little better. I have one primary schools, just one barber, no more is needed. At one point I have two, but uh, they, they kept going bankrupt, so one is sufficient even for higher population. Okay, let's set the charcoal. Five thousand here is more than enough for now. here should suffice as well. And let's sell some extra booze. And here, you know, more imports. I'm selling some extra booze so I need to import more wet. A little bit of honey here. Should suffice. And now let's add a little bit of salt. Balance out the budget and whatnot. And some iron. Metal parts can wait. Export the tax that will give me like 3000 in one shot. And this one is still full. I don't know why they drop all the exports in just one place. I have warehouses and granaries to take this one extra, but uh, it's not enough. My economy needs it. 
in the original house that are still here, I haven't demolished anything. Could probably squeeze some more if I demolish them and whatnot, but kinda of don't want to. They do bring a little bit of extra food with the various stuff that they're making. more baby in route and the rest I don't think I need mm, let's see five thousand more should be more than enough same with this one I still have like fifteen thousand buck with so I'm good don't want to over import either. Like I said, it's a precarious balance. You need to watch it out for it. If you put them to work, they will die faster. So there's that. They don't produce fish as efficient as they should. Okay, let's sell some clothes. Can't wait for this one to be 1000. That's a lot of stuff. 3000 is neat for the budget. It's a bit low right now. Yeah, they always go for one resource. They do not cycle through all the trading posts. That's bullshit, they don't have it like... This one's full, but they don't go for it. This one is uh, obviously not uh, as good as it should from a programming point of view. the message I think only those two need another extra ox down. 
down and a different one. I have plenty of fun, so Ox is being replaced. It's uh, uh, quite frequent. And you, can I sell some of these? Yeah, I want to have 2000 here. Plenty of food, so I don't care. Need more buckwheat. The glaze will do for now. I stopped exporting food a long time ago, so that's uh, not happening. Come on, kind of want 2000 there. But I will export one. If I don't have a choice. Almost there. I got a personal preference to export in 1000 increments, which is the higher limit of the game. They come in 1000. No more, no less. Okay, you can have less. Plenty of ways, I'm not gonna buy that anymore. More hemp, though. It's cheap, and the byproduct for export is uh, more than good. Got plenty of flax as well. Probably need to build a little bit more. Sure. We can never have enough of that. Importing a little bit too much. I need to export a little bit more. That's how big it That's a good problem to have. Let's see the food. This one needs constant watch. At least until next harvest. It's a bit far from the construction area, so that's why it takes a bit longer, but that's not a huge problem. You could hire a construction office or build a construction office to hire more builders nearby, but totally don't care. I'd rather have those workers somewhere else. And I need a lot of them, especially during harvest time, like 300 short. During winter is better. I have, have only have like forty or fifty. On the whole, 
unemployment here is bullshit. I don't know why it appears like this. Like, like I said, it's uh, open vacancies, hundreds of them looking for job here. So there might be a slight disconnect there. And this is almost done. More people, please. So, I need to send another one. There's not much of a choice there. thingy but uh, he never see it did because of that Horses, 685 cows, 3,000 chickens, over 100 pigs, 300 sheep, and some uh, carts and mining carts and whatnot. Okay, you have arrived. For now, this will have to do. Yeah, I have plenty of hemp incoming, so I'm good with that. 10,000 wet will do. Settled yet. Okay, that's about it for today. I will try to get uh, the four thousand mark. Don't know if I'll manage to get there. I will post a video when I well fill the map or reach 4000. Whichever will happen the first. I'll probably fill the map before 4000, but it's highly unclear at this point. Without abusing the economy of infinite uh, loans and whatnot, just naturally. So I'll see you the, when I reach 4000 or I fill the map. Okay, that's about it for today. 
if you like what you saw please like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye